A wind turbine consists of a generator and a rotor. We'll build the generator first. In order to construct the model wind turbine, we need the following materials. Two small neodyme magnets and a plastic medicine bottle, thin winding wire, magnet wire, ideally made of copper and the thin insulation, skewers, insulating tape, and LED, preferably red, a little plastine, small pieces of cardboard, and a piece of styrofoam, ideally rounds, scissors, two small coins, and a hair dryer to generate wind. In order to make the generator, let's start with the skewer and the magnets. Attach the two magnets to the middle of the skewer using the insulating tape. To prevent the magnets from moving, you can put something between them, for example, a piece of paper or a small coin like here. The plastic bottle will serve as the basis for the wind turbine. In order to be able to attach a rotor to it, you should cut two slits in it, more or less, as shown here. Next, you should place the skewer with the magnets in the slits and check whether it can rotate freely. If it can, we can continue. We can wrap small pieces of insulating tape around the ends of the skewer so that it doesn't move laterally, but just rotates. Now comes the most laborious part of the experiment. We have to wind the magnet wire around the bottle with the slits. When we begin winding, we can, for convenience, stick the end of the wire onto the plastic bottle using a piece of insulating tape. And now let's start winding. We should wind the wire a little below the slits we cut earlier. We should wind the wire around the bottle many times, preferably about 200 to 300 times. The more, the better. After we finish winding, we can attach the end of the wire to the plastic bottle with a piece of tape. Now we should remove the thin insulation from the ends of our wires. We can use scissors for this, removing the insulation with a scissor blade. After removing the insulation, we can easily connect the wires to the LED. And our generator is ready. In the second part of our experiment, we will construct the rotor. We take the styrofoam disc, divide it up into eight parts, and cut a slit in each of these. Then we insert small rectangular bits of cardboard measuring approximately 4 by 2 centimeters into the slits. The last thing we need is to attach the rotor to the skewer. In order to make sure the rotor is firmly attached to the skewer, it is best to use a small piece of plastine. Now all that remains to be done is to assemble the hole, in other words, attach the rotor and the skewer to our generator. In order to balance the weight of our rotor, it is best to attach a small piece of plastine to the other end of the skewer. And our wind turbine is ready. Now we can test how well our wind turbine works. We should take a hair dryer and a direct stream of air onto the blades of our rotor. If the LED lights up, it indicates that we have managed to generate electricity. 
We can also connect a multimeter to our system, i.e. to the turbine and LED, and check what voltage we can generate with our small model wind turbine. We see that it is somewhat above 1 volt. This may seem a bit low, but for such a small model, not bad at all.